Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. We have with us Real Team Rider James Jenkins, and we are catching up with James about his experience on the Firewire Tomo Hydra Short. Uh, now, James, you got to ride this board uh, at the Kelly Slater Wave Pool, right? Like, I did. So not only were you at the Kelly Slater Wave Pool for your very first time, but it was way before this board uh, was even released or no one was coming out, you know, to the public. So tell us about your experience on the Hydra Short. Yeah, so the Hydra Short is a smaller wave version of Tomo's Hydronaut, okay. um, which is a similar shape looking at them. They've got this type of nose um, and it goes really well in anything from, you know, knee high up to a foot overhead. So it kind of fills that gap between the, the Hydronaut and a longboard. You know, so it, it's, it could be used as like the standard shortboard in someone's quiver. I was at the wave pool with, um, with Jeffrey O'Neill and we were there with the Slater Designs and the Firewire crew and Mike actually said, hey, we've got this board, uh, it's unreleased and we want you to try it, we've got one that's your size. So I was like, okay, sweet. I don't wanna waste one of these waves and fall on some new board. Um, but I did get, you know, a couple rides in this thing and as soon as I stood up, I knew it was something special. This board felt really, really good. Yeah, you know, on the wave pool, it's such a perfect wave, so you really get a chance to feel how the board's riding. Um, it, it was just, it felt really, really solid under your feet, but also felt really flowy and loose when you wanted to do a turn. Um, and obviously the barrel section on that wave is perfect. Right, and right. It, it drove through that really, really nicely. Um, Jeffrey got a couple really good ones on it as well. I'm excited to kind of take it around. Um, I've heard it's a good board to have in your quiver when traveling around. Um, but yeah, it's really, really light. It's that helium construction that they've been working okay. on. Um, it feels really good under your arm. You know, it feels almost like it's too small for you, but Dan Mann was telling me with boards like this and his FRK, you wanted to, if it feels like it's just too small, it's just right. Okay. Um, and so that was helpful when picking a size. So looking at the bottom of the board, there's a lot of stuff going on back here in the tail, um, like the channels going out the tail, uh, five fins. So like a lot of the other boards we've talked about today, or were a dedicated setup, like you just basically ride them that way, you know, but this was a five fin, like did you mess around with the fin setup or how'd you end up riding it in the yeah. pool? So I rode it as a thruster in the pool. Um, we had a limited number of waves on it. Yeah, I love these channels and you really feel them out. They're really, really cool. Um, and you look down the board, you can see that concave throughout the board. But I think just the way that these things displace water and kind of, I think they add a lot of speed to the board. So James, we talked about uh, you surfing this board like on the perfect wave, like the Kelly Slater wave pool. Let's talk about like taking it outside of that and bringing it into reality. Like what, what type of waves would you surf this in, you know, whether it be here or like in the different places that you travel? Yeah, so obviously at the wave pool, thank you Firewire Slater Designs for having us, that was amazing. You do get to feel out the board on that perfect wave, but taking it out of that situation into, you know, everyday conditions here on the Outer Banks or wherever you are that you live. Um, it's a great board to have in the quiver for a variety of conditions. Um, I think it, it acts as kind of a standard short board. So mm -hmm. anywhere from, you know, one foot to six foot, this will kind of cover all of that ground. Yeah, and uh, having the option to ride as a quad or a thruster, I think also gives you a lot more freedom um, being able to change that around, so. And if you compare this to like your standard short board, like how does it feel different? Like if you took this and compared it to like whatever your standard short board is that you're riding, like how would this feel different? Because yeah. well, I think the, a lot of people would want to know that. Totally, yeah. The initial thing that I felt with this helium construction is really just how light it is. And you feel like it, it, it feels more alive than some of my other boards. I think it's just really lively and it's so light. It just feels really connected to your feet. Um, pumping down the line, doing turns, it just, it really reacts to what you want us to do. And you know, it, it makes me feel like I surf better. So I think that's something that everyone would like to feel. Awesome. Um, so yeah, Hydra Short. Cool. Well, that is the uh, Firewire Tomo Hydra Short. If you have any questions on this board or you'd like to place an order, give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000, or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash serving. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, James, thanks for uh, letting us know what you thought about the board. Of course.